Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to the council. So, last time... Huh. Kind of weird stuff going on here. So we found a mural, and a scary iris, that apparently holds something important inside, and Mom got her arm cut off, and we've been sent off to find some things. So we need to head off, we need to find... Well, we already found the Cross of St. Clement, that was right here behind us. Um, nails, that's probably in one of Mortimer's secret room. Uh, the tower room... The other secret room, and an armillary sphere. Now we know what that is, but we don't know where one is, so that'll be interesting. It's kind of the Ori thing, almost. Oh, hello, what are you? Huh, more coins. Okay, cool. So, let's just go ahead and let's go get collecting. This should be fun. I'm still a little concerned about Mom's mental state, but, well, you get what you get. So, let's just go ahead and head right back up. All right. Quickly dash back through the hedge maze, because I still do not have hedge clippers. Oh wait, what's this? Golden elixir. Oh, convenient. I probably left that out here a really long time ago. Neat. Good for me. Can I just go back in one of these doors? Do I really have to go all the way back through the whole thing? <sighs> okay. Let's just do it. Okay. So, let's head into which room is closest. Okay, so we're in the portrait gallery, so let's go head into this room. Well, yeah, there's this guy. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but... Armillary. I have to find okay. one that I can take with me. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Duh, yeah. Now, where can I find a smaller one? People would notice that. Right. Let's see if the statues are in okay. place Okay, so this is closed again. Um... Okay, well, will it just tell that us what to do? Is not positioned correctly. Maybe? Swivel it around? Ah, turn towards the hero with the shield. Ta-da! Easy. Well, I say easy, but we already figured that out, so... I should know that. Okay, so... Bible. Or no, not Bible, the exegesis. Is this it? This looks like a book. So far, so good. Careful. I'm sure it's very expensive. So that's the exegesis of Judas. Perfect. I hope Mortimer doesn't read it very often. Otherwise, he's going to notice that someone's stolen it. I, but that's just I'm too bad. I'm not stealing it. I need it. Well, all we're doing basically is taking his property and moving it from one part of his property to the other. This isn't theft in any way, shape, or form because I'm not taking right. any of it with me. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. Okay, so... Let's head up to... Um... Well, whichever one we get up closer. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh yeah, no, 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 we saw that, okay. So, let's kind of keep our eyes open for an armillary sphere as we walk through here. Okay. Are you a sphere? You are not a sphere. Okay. Well, let's, let's head upstairs. We can go get the two things we know are upstairs first. Okay, so which room am I closer to? We're right here, and we need to go to the tower room. Okay, so that's to our right, second door. Okay? Not a problem. Wait, is it this door? Did I miss it? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Ah, oh. Glad you're here. Hi. Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Uh. Come and see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Uh-oh. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Yeah. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain hmm. there must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? <laughs> um, let's try to convince him to go somewhere else. If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. Oh, That's no. All. Why, of course. You very nearly <sighs> made me think that you were trying to hide something. Louis. Okay, we didn't know that. No, I'm sure there must be other hidden messages. He all right. Go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. Okay. Well... I didn't know that, so I don't feel bad at not remembering it. Okay, so the Bible was right in here. 
check. Not a problem. Oh, the Bible's still there. All right, excellent. Well done. Okay, let's get out of here before he starts asking me questions like, why are you carrying a priceless Bible out of this room? No reason. I just thought it would look good somewhere else. Okay, so now we need to head upstairs. Oh, these are all really conveniently located. Okay, so we're looking for nails up here. Oh, I could probably use a golden elixir. Um, remove negative effects. Yay, okay. I don't know what those were, but there's no reason to have them. Okay, so let's check all these little tables, just to make sure. I know we've looked over these once before, and I don't remember in our Millery Sphere. I can't remember if I'm getting that pronunciation right, or if I'm doing it the wrong way. Okay, so far nothing. Ooh, what are you? Uh, Devil's Thorn. Okay, that's fine. It's weird how people just, like, leave books open. Okay, anyway, so nothing like that out here. Okay, so let's head on into the secret room. We're looking for the nails in there, right? Ye yes. Hidden in his desk room, is that what we're calling it? Okay. Alright, so I have the number written down here. It is 1191. Not a problem. We've totally got this. The most <laughs> obvious secret room ever. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. If I remember rightly, the code was 1191. Oh, there we go. Will you turn it on your own, or do I have to do it? Um, looks like I'm doing it. Okay, that's fine. One. One. Nine, one, perfect. Lower the lever. Ta-da! This is much easier when you already know what you're doing, isn't it? Too bad I can't take that sphere with me, right? Would not fit in my pocket, however. It's not an all-spark, it's a globe, so... Alas. Of course. The stupid parrot or whatever scares me every time. Okay, and I've got it written down to 6466. So, pretty sure that it's going to be back here in his little dungeon of mystery. Um, you're not nails. Papers. Cards. A feather. Oh, hello, are you nails? There. Aha. Those are the nails I was looking for. Uh, let's analyze the nails. I noticed they were old and rusty. But I hadn't noticed these traces of... Could that be blood? Hmm. It, is it really the relic of the Holy Cross? No. I can hardly believe it. Good, don't. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take him. Okay. Well, geez, we're rocking. Now we just gotta find a sphere. This is great. See, all that skulking about investigating everything is totally paying off. Okay. All right. Come uh, on. Six, let's get four, six, 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 yep. Four, six, six, if I remember correctly. I really need to not screw it up. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I was really concerned that, like, um, I was going to lock myself in or something and then miss some more important plot points. Because last time I missed an interaction with Peru, I think? No, I missed an interaction with Mother because Peru had to help me out. Okay, so, a sphere, huh? I've been around here a bunch of times and I haven't seen anything like that. Let's just duck around the corner quick. Actually, let's go make a circuit of the downstairs. I'll bet that it's going to be in one of, like, the main rooms down there. Because I really haven't picked through these nearly as carefully as I could. If this is a room in particular that would be good to have a sphere in it. What are you? You're just a vase. That doesn't help me. Okay. No good. Alright, let's check the rest of the rooms here. Okay. Sphere. Nope, don't see a sphere. Alright. Definitely not a sphere on the table. Okay, so far so good. Well, let's head into the next room and we'll keep looking. Mathematica, etc. Alright. And there was some honey or something in here, but I used it, right? I think I did.
Okay, now we're back here. We've been here. With the giant one that I can't take. Although it'd be cool. I wonder why I need these things. I didn't see any other part of a locking mechanism. Like, I don't I don't understand how these are all gonna get used, to be honest. Okay, statue. Um yeah, book. It's not what I'm looking for. Okay, those are the stairs up. Okay, next. Alright, and our meeting room at the Secret Cabal. And there's really nothing in here. We looked around this. There's the box that we already opened. And that was about it. Why is it that every Secret Cabal has ridiculous chairs? Like, look at these. These are like stone boxes. This is not Minecraft. You know, we have these glorious antique chairs with padding all around the room. But we choose to sit in a stone block. Alright. Piano. Oh, hi. Um, let's not talk to you yet. Unless I have to. I don't want to get another weird conversation like I did with Washington. Okay, oh, we're back here again already. Uh, okay, let's go around one more time here. A little more carefully. Well, this is turning into a fat lot of nothing. Well, let's let's go have a conversation. Who are you? Uh, Napoleon. Hey, what's up? Not too shocked. I beg your pardon? About Peru this morning. I asked you if you weren't too shocked by it all. Oh, ter terribly shocked. Um... Uh, yes, yes, I was very shocked. Yes, of course. I, I still can't believe it. And, uh, neither can I. How could he do that to us? There are increasingly fewer and fewer of us on Mortimer's side. I don't see at all how we are going to win the conference. Th Tell me. That? I was wondering. That is your only concern? That suddenly you don't have enough votes? Okay. Oh, I can ask him about a sphere. Hey, you know anyone who uh, might have an armillary sphere around here? You wouldn't know where to find an armillary sphere, would you? Do you really think this is the right time? Yes. Oh, ask Volner. I am sure he will know. What with him being passionate about astronomy, you ought to get on fine together. Oh. Leave me now. I need to think of a solution. Okay. I won't keep you any longer. See you later, monsieur. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I haven't seen him on the main floor, so he must be up in his bedroom or something. Let's go find him. See if he can point us in the right direction. Being into astronomy, I'm sure he will have noticed things that I did not. Okay, let's just check our layout here real quick. Okay, to the left, second door. Okay. Okay, door number one. And door number two. Is this his room, correct? Yes. Okay. Let's see if he's around. I've been all the way around both floors, so... He must be in here. Hello? Anybody in here who's interested in astronomy? Anyone? Oh. Okay. Um... We've already been through his room once, right? Did we check his luggage and everything? See if there's anything useful? I, th I think we already did. I think we've been in here. So... Crap. Alright, well, where am I gonna find him? Oh, wait. An armillary sphere. Well... Perfect. That hot damn. Time. I only hope that he isn't going to realize it right away. Now, this is stealing. Because that's not... <laughs> <laughs> it's not my property, and I'm not moving it from point A to point B on Mortimer's property. Okay, cool. Well, we've got all the stuff now. Let's head on down. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Here we are. Let's head on back out. To my favorite place in this entire game. It's not like any of the weird secret chambers. No, no, no. It's the hedge maze that I'm constantly getting stuck in. I love it to death. I wish I could stay here forever. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. You don't have to tell me that. I already know. Okay. 
Back downstairs. Back into the warm, safe confines of the crypt. It's surprising that Mortimer wouldn't look down here. I mean, obviously he knows about this. What with the giant trapped iris and all. Okay, so what do we do with this stuff? So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. Okay. Um, where do I put the nails? What hole should I put the nails in? Well, I can't really advise you there, because I haven't exactly made the best choices myself. Oh, right. The hand. All I can say is that you have to insert one to choose a town, one to choose a chapter, and one to choose a verse. Those are Roman numerals on the disc. Okay. So which ones did you choose? What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem, one in chapter two, and one in verse six. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. Mm -hmm. Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it, the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Well, it did. Instead. I felt something like an axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, hmm. I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. <laughs> I raided his supplies of medicine. Okay. All right. My turn now. Go ahead. Impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. Hmm. Promises. All right. So... Wouldn't it make more sense, by the way, to open up a little bit like she did and then use, like, a pipe and just reach in through that? Anywho, let's go take a look at it. So... I mean... Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. So, let's... I guess insert the nails. Okay. Oh, okay. So, what did she do? She did Bethlehem. Um, uh, Bethlehem chapter 2 verse 6, is that what I've written down here? Okay. Okay, well that didn't do anything. Um. Hmm. it looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Yeah, we already know that. Um, let's recognize the towns, although I actually know what all these are. These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. Yep. I already knew that. Oh, uh, we could read an inscription. Let's read the inscription. Clearly, we have names of towns, Arabian numerals, and Roman numerals. Okay, that wasn't super helpful. Um, let's analyze the fresco. The fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. Hmm. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. Okay. We'll have to trust her. Okay. Well, let's analyze the fresco. Yes, it's definitely a representation of the birth of Christ, but some of the details have flaked away. I can't see any other clues. One thing is for sure. This enigma deals with the life of Jesus, like my mother said. Right. Um, do I want to spend points? Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's, um, let's just restore some effort points first. Okay, notice the details. You can see that the paint has come off in parts. Difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N-R-I. Oh, I-N-R-I, uh, crucifixion. That's totally what it is. Why, of course. They're part of the initials I-N-R-I -I that you can find on the cross of Jesus at his crucifixion. I do know my, I do know my uh, Judeo-Christian stuff. So, okay, okay. So, so what are these things? Like, are these part of something? This is our Bible? This exegesis contains comments no, exegesis. from the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses. 
when the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. Right. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Okay. Ooh, themes. Okay. Ah, themes. Crucifixion. Chapter 19, verse 17. Uh, 19, Jesus 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, okay. in a place Nisan. near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. 3793. Okay. Oh, let's find the equivalent. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew, ah, Golgotha. Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Okay, okay. Okay. So this makes sense. Okay, so now we've got a couple things here. We've got... Okay. Um... Did I analyze the door yet? Hmm. It looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Yeah, I already did. Okay. Yeah, I recognize the towns and I read the inscription. Okay. So now... Oops. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so if it's... Inri, then we're probably talking about, okay, Golgotha, yep, and 1917, um, 19, of course, 19, and 17, aha, nice, okay, aha, Cool. It works. Well done, Louis. I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. Okay. Let's um analyze the inside wheels. There must surely be a connection between the wheels. Okay, what are the icons here? There are different icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Hmm. Should we keep spending points? Uh... This wheel represents the different moons. Okay. What are the symbols of the moons? In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. Okay. Um, and the wheels... Oh, these are dates? This wheel contains several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year. A for April, oh, okay. a and April. M for March. M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Right, okay. Okay, and let's look at the mechanism. Look at this. There are notches between each of the wheels. So... I have to link the name of the town from the theme I've chosen to an icon, then to a date, and finally, the date to the moon. Okay. I, I guess I'm going to spend the effort points to figure these out. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of points. I really want to know, though. I think I can make out each one of the icons apart from the one covered in blood. Going clockwise from the one I just mentioned, we have the halo that represents the resurrection. The waves represent the baptism of Jesus. It's more difficult to identify the next one. Maybe a crib, and in that case, it oh, so the next one's going to be the crown of thorns. The of Christ, the red herring that my mother followed. Then, the symbol yep. represents the yep. crown of thorns. Okay. Then what? Jesus Holy Spirit, Trinity. The dove also represents the baptism. Nope. Sorry. Certainly another red herring. Then comes the symbol of the Trinity. Hey, I knew that. And finally, the candle that must stand for the Last Supper. Okay, so this makes sense. So if we're going with crucifixion, then we're going to go with um, the crown of thorns. I just don't know what else. Yep, put it in my hand. Yeah, not so much. Okay. So if these are going to line up with dates... Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Um, we just read about this, but I didn't write it down. Let's go take a look here. So, in the theme of the crucifixion... Chapter 19, verse 17. 
Jesus was crucified. Here, yep. On the eighth of Nisan. Eighth of 3, Nisan. Seven hundred ninety-three. Thirty-seven ninety-three. In a place near Jerusalem, the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Okay, okay. And we've got notes. Um. There we go. Eighth of Nisan. Uh, twenty-six March. Okay, so twenty-six March. Okay. Okay. Now, is that something that we've got on here? Ye yes, over there at 9 o'clock. Okay, cool. Okay, here, let's play with these controls and let's see what they do. Oh, okay. Turn the wheelie icons. Aha! So, we're going to line it up with Golgotha. Right, and the crown of thorns. And then the date. We're going to go with 26M. That's correct, right? Let me double check. Yep. 8 Nissan in whatever year. That apparently doesn't matter. And that is the 26th of March. There's not like an M33 on here, is there? No. Okay. And then the moons. I have no idea. Um... Okay. Okay. How about this thing? What do you do? We haven't poked at it yet. Study the sphere. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Right, okay. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, Full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with a full shadowed new moon. Okay. Um, let's focus on the moon. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Okay. Test the moon cycles. Oh, ah, ah, okay. Um... Okay, 8 Nissan is 7 Shaban. I'm really sorry if you speak this language and I don't. 7th of Shaban. 7th of Shaban, 607, first quarter. First quarter, okay. Okay. And... The moon shadow moves from west Well, from west to, to east. east. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's see here. So we've got let's see what combination er, corresponds to the chosen theme. Yeah, we we already know this. Yeah, we don't have to guess these. Okay, so Okay. So this is the full moon. Okay, so that's not what we want. So let's go to the new moon here. And it said the um the first quarter Okay, so let's give us, and that's the first quarter, right? Wait, west to east. So this is... No, yeah, okay, yep. No, 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 this is turning backwards, right? Because the shadow is going from west to east. So it is... Is it this one? Or this one? I think it's this one. Does that make sense? New moon. Y yes. That way. Right? Oh god, I hope I'm right. Okay. Um, okay. So let's take one more look at this here. Okay. Okay, so we've got Golgotha, we've got the Crown of Thorns, 26M. Um, and I think this is the right quarter. Yes, that way, right there. Yep. Okay. Put it in my hand. Um. Okay. 
Oh god, I hope I have this right. Okay. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Careful. Good luck. Oh shit. Okay, pull the lever. Uh. I never doubted you, <sighs> my son. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. Oh, okay, so that's it for this episode. Oh, neat. Okay, alternate paths. I could have reviewed the conference results with Godoy. Okay, well, I didn't see him. Got the keys. Found the Mother's Lost Cross. Got some information about the sphere. Unlocked the first wheel and cracked the code. Nice. Good for us. Hooray. Well, we didn't quite level up. That was... That was tense. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. Uh, four points. So what should we do with these? We should probably just level something up. What needs four points? Um, linguistics? Politics? Actually, politics. Everything else requires a ton of points. Ye yes, and that'll give me the level. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And there we go. Wow. <laughs> I was not sure about that moon. I was not sure which way that was going to go. That was scary. That was really scary. But at this point, I guess we need to wait for the next episode. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you then.